So I got asked the question, how does this strength training thing that you've been going on about, Dom, particularly for those of us that are getting a bit older, how does it help us build lean muscle, but also shed fat at the same time? How does it work? Well, that's the topic of today's post, so let's jump in. This approach to building lean muscle and shedding fat with good training strategies and good principles focuses on the dual objective of just that getting ourselves stronger, building muscle, but shedding fat. But the whole goal is this, it aims to enhance our physical preparedness by simply improving our body comp, increasing our muscle mass, and reducing our body fat, but without necessarily sacrificing one or the other. It just comes down to prioritizing what you really want, because whilst you can do them simultaneously, one will take priority at a time. This approach will not only strengthen the body, but it'll also help support our metabolic health, our hormone balance, and overall physical performance. So let's just talk about this. What are three benefits of looking to incorporate a strategy that does those things at the same time? Again, remember, we're looking to get some stronger, we're looking to add some muscle, and we're also to looking to reduce the body fat. So why would I do that at the same time? Number one, Increased strength and endurance. The strength training will boost our muscle strength and endurance, which in turn will overall affect our capabilities physically. Improving our body comp, as we've said before, increasing the muscle mass and reducing the fat will help us achieve, let's call it the word toned will come into it, a more toned or a defined physique, and therefore improving our appearance and our overall health. And thirdly, a metabolic rate Increasing our lean muscle mass will help us elevate our metabolic rate, aiding in a longer term fat loss and better weight management approach. Now, how do these things affect other things? Well, when we do this properly, we will get a boost in confidence and motivation. Some of our clients will report seeing improvements in their physical appearance and their strength when they do that, they're more likely to engage in other healthy behaviors, such as looking at their food, better nutrition, and therefore regular exercise and going to sleep earlier, and so on. It also supports injury prevention, meaning that when we get this increased strength and more stability, we can therefore reduce the risk of injuries. We've said this before, slip, trip, break a damn hip. We don't want to do that. And therefore, that by encouraging a consistent participation in our physical activity, we can reduce that likelihood. And the mental health thing, this thing here goes completely unnoticed a fair bit. Strength training has been shown to reduce the symptoms of anxiety and depression. Therefore, fostering a more positive mindset and a more resilience, let's call it grit. Now, I don't need to quote to you some meta-analysis or some one-off report that tells you that. From first-hand experience, I can let you know that it does just that. If you are unsure, then I encourage you to give it a go too. Have a crack, see what happens. Now, what are three things that we can do today? Well, let's talk about this. Get a plan. Look at two to three sessions in a week. Focus on the different muscle groups. Let's call it the old bro split, as they used to call this, and therefore get some balanced development. Now, if you're not necessarily into that, and you just want to feel good and generally all over, then the latest thinking is three whole body sessions within the week. It might take you a little bit longer rather than the body part split, but we're talking three sessions. If they last 45 minutes to an hour, it's only three hours. It's, we're talking less than 1% of your week. Simple end of story, and it can go a long way, as we've said before. Set a realistic goal. Now, I don't want you to go and say, I want to drop. 15% body fat and build 10 pounds of muscle and add 30 pounds to my bench. It ain't going to happen at the same time, but prioritize them. For me to you, if I focus on getting my strength up, I know that as I get stronger, I'm building muscle. If I'm getting my muscle to be built to support my strength, I know that as more muscle comes on, it's helping my metabolism. It's highly likely then that my metabolism, when it kicks up, will then start to look at the things like my body fat as a way for it to fuel myself in my workouts. It won't necessarily just happen, but it is likely that it will occur. 
And by simply focus on things like getting up my strength, you might find this toned feeling, as you call it, will simply help you look good, feel good, and play good. And finally, I want you to do this. I need you to track your progress. We can, we can scan our macros. We can do every bit of morsel coming into our mouth. But I want you to scan or track the progress. Where's your bench press at? How many push-ups can you do in two minutes? How far can you walk in six minutes and get back in the same distance? But track it. Look for those improvements in strength and endurance, and therefore you'll find that they will start to show in a better body composition. This align, this will simply help serve to you as a way to keep you motivated and therefore help you and maybe your trainer adjust that training plan accordingly. That's it, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's just see what you and I can do together.